Falls. that did meet the, most of the criteria. She is over 12. She is still living. She doesn't have any AKC titles herself, but she has bred and exhibited some exquisite palms, some to national rankings and to best in shows. She's been a strong supporter of the American Pomeranian Club, uh, serving on the board, she has participated in revising our standard and helping put together the illustrated standard. She has been a kind and generous mentor to many people. This past year, she has valiantly, publicly, and successfully battled cancer and has been an inspiration to us all. Ms. Charlotte Green. From the bottom of my heart, I would not be here without all of your kindness throughout this whole trip I've been on. <laughs> it's been a trip, but it's been some fun things about it, and I try to find the positive things. And the positive things are, are you, your prayers, and it's been so much to me. I, would, I wouldn't be here. When I was down at my lowest and all, and my sister came over and I was about ready to give up and she shook me and my sister stayed with me by my bedside 77 days in Baylor, never left my side and she shook me and said, you cannot quit. All these people that are praying for you and me, you cannot quit. And I got a second wind, dug a little deeper <laughs> and kept battling and, and I, I've come a long way but it would not be without you and your support. And the breed, I have, you just have no idea how much I enjoyed this today and seeing all the beautiful palms. You breeders are doing a superb job. It, it's wonderful what I'm seeing. And, and, the, and the condition of the dogs, I think is the best that I've seen in many, many years. Christine and several other people who were talking today about it, the, you are working earnest and trying to do something about this black skin disease, which was destroying our breed. And, and it's paying off, you can see it in the healthy coats out there. And the wise breeding choices that you're making, no matter how great a winner the dog is, it has to be put aside and you move on and try to breed around it and you're doing that. And thank you to American Pomeranian Club for all of your backing and the research that you're trying to do in raising the money. And uh, Elaine tells me that we're getting closer and closer to finding something out about this that will help us. But, but instead of hiding our heads in the sand, we are doing something about it. And it's very obvious. And please remember that it's a breed problem. It is not an individual problem. And you have to work together to solve it. And always keep the Pomeranian as the number one priority. And all of us love them.
We're taking a picture of you with that ribbon. <laughs> I didn't meet, I was not. Uh, Thank you. Uh, this year was the closest year we've ever closely come to having a tie. Um, they were all pretty close.